Today's art lesson is a baker's dozen donuts. The materials you will need for this is a white paper, a circle tracer, a pencil, a sharpie, crayons, markers, and a paintbrush. Let's start by tracing our circle six times. We're gonna be creating a baker's dozen, which means a half a dozen, so we're gonna be making six donuts. Once all your circles are traced, draw a smaller circle in the center for the donut holes. Now sharpie all of your pencil marks. Once you have it sharpied, you can erase your pencil marks if you would like. Let's start decorating our donuts. With your Sharpie, you can draw the icing with a curvy line on a donut, or you can leave it blank and add the icing later with a crayon. I'm gonna do my donuts both ways. Now it's time to go in with our crayons and add the details. You can add details like sprinkles, or you can add details like jelly, or even icing. You can use a variety of colors as well. Make sure you're pressing down hard when you color with your crayons so that it'll show through later when we add our paint on top. It might look like one of my donuts is gonna be empty, but just wait until we start the paint. That white crayon is gonna show through. I forgot to mention earlier, you're gonna want a piece of tin foil or a Ziploc bag to put your paint on. We're gonna be using our markers to create the paint. You'll notice my piece of plastic to the left of me. I'm gonna put my marker right on top of that like I was drawing on that plastic. Then I'm gonna get my paintbrush and add some water to it and it's gonna turn into a watercolor. As you paint on top of your crayon, you're gonna notice that the crayon is coming through. This is a resist. Crayons are made out of wax and wax and water do not mix. You can use whatever color markers you would like to design your donuts. You can even mix two markers together lightly and create a new color. I love using this technique of watercolor painting at home because the possibilities are endless. You'll notice now I'm gonna be using some yellow and a little bit of brown to create my cake donut or my vanilla donut. Continue painting all of your donuts until they're all filled in and colorful.